Well, good morning and welcome to Tiny Church at Home. How are we today? Hope we are well. Nice sunny week, isn't it? Mustn't get sunburnt when we're out there. Well, let's open in prayer. Let's close our eyes, put our hands together. Dear Lord, thank you that we can meet again this week. Thank you for the beautiful weather, the bright sunshine. Thank you for all the flowers that are blooming and all the birds that are singing. Lord, we thank you for everything you give us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, I got two pictures this week. Shall I show you them? This is a picture of Jesus by Lottie. And next is a picture of Jesus by Grace. They were good, weren't they? Shall we have our blessing song then? Okay, let's get ready. Ready? It is swaying. Dear God, we know that your loving arms are around us all the time. Thank you for the many blessings that you give us. And bless all those who are looking after us at this time. Our families, our friends, nurses, doctors, carers, shop workers, delivery drivers and many more. We pray for our leaders who are working so hard. Lord, bless us here at Tiny Church. God's blessing be upon you now. May you know of His great love for you. May God's blessing be upon you now. Are we sitting comfortably? Well, we're going to have a story. This week, I'm going to show some pictures as well as I read the story. So have a good look, so you can follow the story through the pictures. Noah's Ark A long time ago, when God made the world, it was a beautiful and happy place, until the people grew wicked and began to fight. They shouted and argued and hit each other with anything they could find. They didn't care if they hurt one another. As God looked down at the world, he became very angry and sad. He wondered what could he do to make the world a better place again. As God watched the people fighting, he realised that there was still one good man who loved the world. This man was called Noah. Noah always tried to make God happy and was kind to all the animals that God had created. God started to make a plan. He would find a way to keep Noah and his family safe, whilst ridding the world of all the wicked people. God called to Noah and told him what to do. 
I want you and your family to build an ark, he said. It must be as big as you could make it and very strong. Noah was happy to do as God wished, but he wondered why God wanted him to build such a large boat. I am going to send a great flood that will cover all the land, God told Noah. I will wash away all the wickedness in the world. And father and mother of every kind of bird and every kind of animal will come to you. Fill the ark with these creatures, said God. Noah started to build the ark right away. Every day, Noah and his family worked very hard. They wanted to make sure the ark was ready before the rain came. Whilst Noah sawed wood and hammered nails, his wife collected plenty of food for all the animals. The sun shone down on them, and it didn't look like it would rain at all. When the ark was finished, Noah prayed to God. He asked God, what should he do next? God was very pleased with Noah's hard work. It was time to send the flood. In seven days I will send a terrible storm, God told Noah. You must get all the animals and birds and board the ark before the rain starts to fall. Soon there were animals and birds as far as Noah could see. There was a mother and father of every type. Noah saw two great big elephants with long swaying trunks. Two tall giraffes followed. Then two tiny mice came scampering past. Noah counted all the animals and birds as they walked onto the ark, two at a time. Once every creature was safely aboard, Noah closed the ark's heavy door. Just at that moment, the rain began to fall. It rained and rained and rained some more. Thunder crashed and lightning flashed. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights until even the highest mountains were covered by water. Noah looked outside the ark and saw that the whole world had been flooded. Nothing had survived the terrible storm. Noah and his family and all the birds and animals weren't scared though. They were warm and safe aboard the ark. The floating ark would be their home until the flood went away. At last the rain stopped and the sun appeared from behind the clouds. The wind began to blow and ever so slowly the water began to go down. Suddenly there was a bump. The ark had come to a rest right on top of a mountain. Noah was excited. He looked out of the window, hoping to see more mountains. Noah looked to the left, then he looked to the right. Wherever he looked, all he could see was water. I know, said Noah. I'll send a raven from the ark. Maybe it will be able to find some dry land. The raven flew out of the window and into the distance. It flew around and around, looking for somewhere to rest. With nowhere to land, the raven's wings grew very tired. Soon it could hardly fly at all. The raven flew back to the ark and into Noah's arms. The next day, Noah sent a dove in search of dry land. All the animals watched as the dove flew away from, from the ark and over the water. The dove flew far and wide but there was still no dry land in sight. Soon the dove came back to the ark. Noah waited seven more days, then he sent the dove again. This time the dove came back with a green leaf in its beak. The dove must have picked a leaf up from a tree. The flood water must be going down. Noah leapt for joy. Now that the flood was coming to an end, he would have to wait only a few more days before the door to the ark could be opened. One bright sunny day Noah looked outside. Today he would open the door of the ark. It was safe to go outside again. The animals roared and trumpeted and squeaked and the birds twittered and squawked. They were very excited and made as much noise as they could. The door creaked open and everyone rushed outside to explore their fresh new world. God promised that he would never flood the world again. To remind us of this promise, God sometimes put a beautiful rainbow in the sky. Well, that was a good story, wasn't it? Well, is it time to go home now? Yeah. No? Pardon? Oh, instruments. Yes. Ah, nearly forgot again. You go and get your instruments and we'll have a good sing. OK.
Right, now are we ready for our song? Sing it loud. Jigging around, isn't it? Ah, I'll have to find a cooler song, won't I? Well, nearly time to go. So, have a think about Noah's Ark and see if you can do any pictures or any craft of any animals or any ark and send them in. Will you? Thanks. So, let us pray as we go. Let's close our hands and close our eyes. Dear Lord, Thank you for the story of Noah's Ark. Thank you for all the animals in the world. And thank you for the glorious nature that you've given us. Help us to look after your kingdom. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, until next week, I'll see you then. Bye!